We're here, babe. Come on out. Um, Lucas, where are we? Lucas! Huh? Oh, sorry. Babe, look, I know you must be real surprised right now, but do you remember how we used to talk about getting our own place one day? Oh. Well, today's the day. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, yeah. No, no. Come on, don't be shy. Look, no. we have a garage. How awesome is that? Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? Well, I wasn't sure our offer was going to go through. And plus, I didn't want to give you, you know, any high hopes or expectations until I knew for sure that the house was ours. Oh, no. I am done with you. <gasps> Babe! <gasps> I know you don't like me keeping secrets from you, but it was the only way I could pull off the surprise. Surprise? This is the worst surprise I've ever seen in my entire life. I hate this house. I hate it. I hate everything about this house. The shutters, the doorbell, the doorknobs, the garage, the paint, everything is so ugly. Look, I get it. It's a bit of a fixer upper, I'll admit, but it's totally livable. You, you'll have your own closet even. We won't have to share This anymore. thing is falling apart. It needs to be demolished and burned to the ground and then built up again from scratch. Rebecca, I don't understand why you're being so unreasonable right now. It's not its not the house that makes the home. It, it, it's the love that goes into it. Our love, that's what's important. There's not going to be love anywhere inside this house. What? Yeah, that's right. You heard me. No. I'm not living in this crap of a house with you. You can live here by yourself, single. You're breaking up with me. Yeah, and it's about time too. It took so long for me to do this, but you know, it's pathetic that I even tried to see if you could change or not. You know, I deserve so much more than this. I deserve so much better. And you just, you're just dirt poor. I mean, look at you. There are holes right now, literally in the shirt that you're wearing. Yeah, I've had to pinch pennies and watch how I spend my money, all right? But that comes with the territory. I, I'm trying to start a company here. You know what? Yeah, your company isn't going anywhere either. And if you had invested that same time and effort and money into me and this relationship, then maybe you could have gone somewhere in your life, but you didn't. So I'm getting out while I can. Have fun in your stupid little house. If you can even call it a house. What's gotten into you? I don't know, the house. Hey, where do you think you're going? That's my car. Hey man, I'll hey. you up in a house, uh, have a fire. Oh, thank have you. A, have a look around. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, we will do. Hey. Hi. It's a nice room, right? Yeah, it's all right. Worth 2.5 million though? I don't know, it's a little steep, don't you think? Ah, uh, buddy, you're in the wrong state if you think 2.5 million is expensive. Maybe you should head to the other side of town. There's some new project housing coming up and it might be a little bit more in your budget. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, no problem. Hey, babe, come in here. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. So, uh, I'm not really feeling this room. You know, the pink? It's not really my vibe. I wonder what the owner was thinking. Hmm. Yeah. You're right. I was thinking the same thing. You know what we should do? Hmm. We should tear this room down and turn it into a sauna. Hey, that's actually a really good idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the perfect space for one. Yeah, we can put the rocks there. Or maybe it's a stuff. little too small. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, how are we doing here? Have you guys seen the bonus room? It's, uh, it's right down this hall. Bonus room? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, 
Hi. <gasps> Wait a minute. Lucas, what are you doing here? Uh, just checking out the open house, Rebecca. Nice seeing you. Hey, hey Lucas. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry about how things ended last year. Really? Yeah, um, I'm so sorry because your life must have been absolutely miserable without me. Actually, my life has been- Absolutely sucked! Oh. Yeah, I know, you don't have to say anything else. But I upgraded, I was hoping the same would go for you, but um, did you see my boyfriend? I mean, he Balenciaga sweater? Yeah, he makes about a million dollars a year. That's a million more than you'll ever make. Good for him. Yeah. I mean, I was really hoping uh, that you would have changed, but uh... Well, what are you really doing here anyway? You know it's not proper etiquette to go window shopping for houses, especially in a place with this zip code, right? I mean, you can never afford this place. This is way out of your tax bracket. I don't pay taxes. Yeah, you're in low income, right? Company, is it out of debt? Are you in debt right now? Oh, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. I was hoping the best for you, really, really. Are you living in your car? I guess you could say that. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. You squatting? Is this why you're here? To see if they're, you know, when we leave, if you can stay here? Because that's not very classy of you. Hence the uh, upper terrace. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, what's the lot space looking like? Uh, it's around like half an acre. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'm gonna be throwing some sick parties back here. <laughs> so, uh, looks like you're interested in buying the place. Oh, dude, I will literally buy this place right now. Well, this is one of our more popular properties. We actually have two offers already. Plus, the uh, gentleman inside seems like he might make an offer as well. Uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about him. I mean, him just being here is wasting everyone's time. Uh, what do you mean? <sighs> okay, well, first of all, just look at the way he dressed. I mean, I don't think anyone in this neighborhood would get caught dead dressed in those clothes. And uh, second of all, he kind of told me that 2.5 mil was a little too expensive and that he couldn't afford it. Well, that's a shame. To tell you the truth, this house is actually being overbid on. The price is only so high because of uh, how much demand there is. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about that with me. I can outbid literally anyone. Well, in that case, uh, let's go sign some paperwork. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So, what was your annual household income again? About one million dollars. Okay, gotcha. Hey babe, I've got a surprise. I'm buying this house. <gasps> oh my goodness, really? Oh my gosh, you always know how to give me the best surprises. I absolutely love this house and I can't wait to start living here with you. I'd like to make an offer. This guy. With what? Get out of our house, Lucas. We don't want any of your poorness in here. Sorry, sir. Maybe you can find something somewhere else. No. I'm serious. I want to buy this house. Well, they're paying 300000 of of asking price. You offered $2.8 million for this house? Yep. So it's time for you to leave. You're making our house dirty. I'd like to bid $2.81 million. Lucas, we don't have time for this. This isn't some fake fantasy like your little failure of a company. Hold on, hold on. The deal with you guys isn't finalized yet. You're sure you want to go with 2.81? I am. 2.81, going once, going twice. 2.9! 2.9, going once, going twice. Three million. Three, three million? Listen. You can't believe him, okay? You should see where he lives. I don't even think he can afford anything close to $3 million, let alone, I, you know what? I don't even think he has $1,000 in his bank account. 3.5 million. 3.5 million going once, going twice. Sold to the rich couple over here. Sorry, sir, you're gonna have to find something more in your price range elsewhere. Bye-bye, Lucas the Loser. You know, the homeless can't invade other people's homes, so I'm gonna walk you out. I know where the door is. Yeah, are you sure? Because you don't have a house, right? So how do you know what it works? You know what? Good for them. Oh, hold up. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold hey. up. I just ran a credit check and I can't get a loan approved in your name. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Babe, what is he talking about? 
Uh, nothing. Just uh, try it again. I mean, I literally make a million dollars a year. I literally tried three times. Do you maybe want to try paying in cash? I don't have that kind of cash on hand. Babe, you told me you were rich. <laughs> this guy? Rich? Lady, this guy can't even afford a single Dogecoin. Uh, excuse me? Is this Sorry. true? Yeah, it's true. I don't actually make a million dollars a year, but that, that shouldn't matter. I thought literally anyone could take out a loan. <laughs> In this economy, you thought you, loan with your credit score? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't <laughs> believe this. This is, oh my God. Lucas, there's still a chance you can get this house. But after what just happened, I need to know, is this a sure thing? Do you want to buy this house? Can you buy this house? Am I serious? Let's just say there'll be no problems getting a loan for 10K under my name. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey. Hey, how's it going? Here you go, sir. Thank you, Jeffrey. No problem. All right, well, that look like enough? That's enough, all right. Yeah, that, this will make my job a lot easier. Thanks. Anytime. What is happening? I just paid in cash. Lucas, I'm so sorry for everything I said. I didn't mean any of it. I just dumped my loser poser of a boyfriend, and I was wondering, we could get back together. You know, Rebecca, you really hurt me. The way you valued me because of the things my money could buy. And the only reason you want to get together is because you see now that I can afford this nice house. It seems like you haven't changed at all. But it's like I said, the house doesn't make the home. It's the love that's inside it. And I don't love you. Wow. Hey, babe. I love the house, babe. See, I found somebody who loves me, for me. Maybe you should reconsider what you value in a person. Oh, and about my little fantasy company. Let's just say business is booming. Ah! Hey, does this mean you'll take me back? No! Don't worry, man, you dodged a bullet. Man, this house has a lot of rooms and she kind of took all my money. Can I live with you? Yeah, sure, you can pay for the mortgage. I'll try. 